are less than a week away from Britain's vote on whether to leave the European Union trading bloc. So what we thought we'd do for you was we wanted to do some digging to find out which U.S.-based companies do the most business with the European Union, which in turn could suffer in the short term if Britain backs away from it. Well, the U.S. companies with the highest exposure to Europe are, there are ten of them, Coca-Cola Enterprise, Priceline, Owens, Illinois. We have Mondelez in there, McDonald's. We've got a whole bunch of others of these names. This is the exposure that they have to revenue coming in from the European Union, among other names. VF Corp, Carnival, Baxter, and 21st Century Fox, the parent of our company here at Fox Business. So today, these stocks are mixed, but you need to be watching all of they, these because they may be in the short term either names to avoid or maybe names to buy if they look like real bargains. Let's get right to the floor show. Traders at the New York Stock Exchange, the CME Group as well. Uh, Stephen Guilfoyle, there may be short-term volatility, real roiling, Thursday into Friday when the vote happens in the European Union and the UK. So my question to you is this, is that a buying opportunity just as some names drop precipitously for a moment or two? If they vote to Brexit if they decide to leave the EU and there is a downsize move of let's say more than 8% in some of these names with all the cash that's on the table yes that is a buying opportunity because every corporation that you just mentioned will still do business in the EU yes. and still do business in the UK this won't be for those corporations a permanent piece of damage things would be on sale that's the message that i wanted our viewers to at least understand from you guys as traders but chris robinson looking at this this action this price action today we've got a lot of red on the screen nothing too awful at the moment but it makes you wonder if there, if it's just sort of let's let's stay away let's stay out of it until we hear what the decision is so does that mean we're kind of in a narrow trading range until thursday friday Oh, yeah, absolutely. I think so. And if you look at the last three months of trading range, the, the Dow's been at an 800 point range. The S&P's been at about a 100 point range. Where we're at right now, we're right in the middle of it. So you've got everybody going home for the weekend. And uh, it really is going to be a coin flip between now and Thursday. And I think once, once we're past that, then we're going to be looking at the, uh, the next unemployment number. Right. So all in all, the, the, the indexes are hanging in there pretty good. But you probably could get some uh, volatility. And we're locked. Basically, we're whipping around a 4% move. So you've got to get used to that volatility. And uh, I think what uh, he said was correct. Yeah. If you get a chance to buy a stock that's on sale, step in and buy it. And, and look, we, we should mention what happened with oil today. Oil had a very nice move to the upside. Hey, so did Brent. So did heating oil up 4%. So did Arbob gasoline up 3%. Natural gas up 2%. And what did we have? We had for, I believe, the third week in a row, the rig count moving higher. So every Friday, we get this number from Baker Hughes, and they tell us, oh, how many rigs were started back up because so many of them have been idled. We saw another nine come back online today. Uh, it's kind of a measly total, 337. But Stephen Guilfoyle, as you look at energy names, often when the entire energy complex goes down, the markets go down. Today we see energy names, at least some of them, going slightly higher, but it's not helping the markets. It is helping the energy sector. The energy sector is up about a percent, while oil is up four percent. Without the energy sector, I, I don't, maybe we'd be trading in the low 2060s right now in the okay. S&P 500. I'll buy that. So it is a positive. Yeah, there you go. It's great to see both of you, Stephen, Chris. Have a good weekend. Everybody's going to be Me checking their, their computers on Sunday night to see how the opening of Europe happens, and Fox Business will be all over that.